Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This lesson is going to be done in English. It's an early intermediate, but it's all about the uses of say. Oh, we have a test, don't we? And we have a test. We have a test. Okay, we're testing you on whether you know I'm how to recognize you. And you. So testing <laughs> me. And you. <laughs> and we're testing you. Okay, so let's see how you do. So you've got to know your says. All right, this is a test. So if you don't know your says, probably stop this video. And it's funny because say run away. is I know. I know, yeah. So know your say. Know your say and say you know. <laughs> okay. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Muy bien, Gordon. Ajá. Cynthia. <laughs> so, I have 12 sentences. I'll give you the sentence in Spanish and then you tell me which type, under which category you would put this se. Okay. And okay. translate the sentence as well. And translate the sentence, of course. You would have to translate it to know which To say. know what it is, yeah. Um, so, I have one, two, three, four, five, six types of se. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want me to go through them first or if you... Let's do them as we go we and then we can explain we them as we Why go, not? yeah? Obviously, we'll have a few mixed, okay? Número uno. Roberto y Lola se miraron. Mm -hmm. So that one is uh, Robert and Lola looked at one another. Or at each other. Mm -hmm. At each other. Mm -hmm. So that's the, yeah. ¿Cómo se llama? What's the name that's, of that? That's the um, reciprocal, uh, reciprocal use sí. of se. Muy yeah? bien, el se so recíproco. Hmm. Se recíproco when two people... Do something or, or, to... Or more than two, yeah. like yeah. to one another, to each other. Muy bien. Uh, yeah, unlike the reflexive where, with reflexive, only one person is doing something to themselves. Whereas the reciprocal, yeah. and then you can involve other people. Uh, and with these type of sentences, we can have the direct object or indirect object. It depends, for example, in this case, they looked at each other, so it's a, that's direct. But we'll see in other examples that there's something else involved, oh, an good. object. Right. Okay, so we, they, can, they can give each other something. I still would be reciprocal, but they would be an indirect uh, object. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vale, okay. número dos. En este restaurante se come muy bien. Okay. Hmm. So in this restaurant, one eats very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't say that. We would say you eat very well. We can say that as well. Uh -huh. We can say en este restaurante comes muy bien. Mm -hmm. You eat. Yeah? yeah. You you the general. Yeah. Yeah. We can also say. Uno, uno come muy bien, one eats very well. Yeah. Or we can go for se come, which is the generic as well. Yeah. So that's that's just to say without referring to anybody. Exactly, it's like a general, yeah? yeah. The impersonal se is what it's called. Impersonal se, exactly. Mm. So when in English you would say one eats very well or one, mm -hmm. yeah? When, or, or you. You, in general. You meaning, yeah, exactly. So that would be the impersonal. Mm -hmm. Se impersonal. Número tres. ¿Por qué siempre se despiertan de mal humor? So, for me that is, why do they always wake up in a bad mood? Muy bien. Yeah. And that waking up is reflexive. It's a reflexive say. It's part of the Correcto. pronominal verb. Yeah. Correcto. Un ser reflexivo. Se despiertan. Okay. Uh, in this sentence, could it mean that they wake each other up? Well, se despiertan de mal humor. No, it wouldn't make much but sense. But if, if it was... Mm, 
el uno al otro. Se despiertan el uno al otro, then yes, it would be it could have been reciprocal if they wake each other up, for yeah. example. But I'm just I'm, in a bad mood while they do it. Estoy yeah. rizando el rizo. Yeah. Uh -huh. How would you say that? Um, um, Uh, oh, uh, Twisting it too much, or yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll think of it. Let me see if okay. it'll come to me. Yeah. Número cuatro. Luis se merendó un bocadillo de jamón con queso. Okay, so this is Luis um, uh, had an, uh, a sandwich yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, Afternoon, well, yeah, afternoon. It, yeah, five, merienda, yeah, yeah, merienda, yeah, five, yeah. Five, six. Uh, evening, uh, afternoon tea. It, with his afternoon tea, he had a, a ham and cheese sandwich or bocadillo, yeah, stick. So this se merendo for me is that it, it's used a lot with we. I know that he ate it all. That's the sense I get. He had all, he had that all to himself. It's like he had himself a, a bocadillo. So it's like a bit, it's a bit of an emphatic say, isn't it? Exactly. With, with food. Muy bien, muy bien. So what would you call this say? Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's, <laughs> so, a, it's a, like a, I don't know. This what? say is called dativo ético. Uh -huh. And this doesn't give any information grammatically. It's just to emphasize. Em um, emphasize. Yes. Or to make it, to, to inform you that he ate it all up. Like he ate it up. He yeah. ate up yeah. the sandwich. Instead. Yeah. The way he I like it, because sandwich. it's reflexive, I like to translate it in my mind. Mm -hmm. He had himself okay, a William. sandwich, and then it, that gives that, that reflexive feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So could you could you have missed missed out the C? Yes. Luis merendó un bocadillo, and that's just information. But if you say se merendó un bocadillo, it's like, my God, he finished it. He finished the sandwich. Mm -hmm. By the way, the difference in Spain between sandwich, which we have, mm -hmm. un sandwich, And a bocadillo is bocadillo is made with the, the bread stick the stick bread yeah like a baguette or something mm -hmm. and sandwich is made with um, sliced, sliced sliced bread. Mm -hmm. Número 5. Los jugadores de fútbol se intercambiaron las camisetas. Okay. So the um, the football players um, shared their yeah like tops. yeah exchange ex exchange I give my yeah. shirt to you and you give yeah. your shirt to me. So that one is el uno al otro, no? Is that reciprocal? Muy bien, exactly. So in this case, uh, if we compare this sentence to the number one, which is they looked at each other, now we have shirts, shirts that involved. they're sharing. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh -huh. uh, we can see. There could be something else involved, an object, or just things that we do to each other. Yeah? Okay, cool. Muy bien. Número 6. No se ve nada. No se ve nada. Okay, so this one, to translate it, I would say, you can't see anything. One can't see anything. And there's nothing to see. Okay. Yeah. So... It's it, it's kind of a way of avoiding you, I suppose. But <laughs> I I don't know what would that would be called in terms. So of... this is an impersonal say because ah, if okay. one can't see anything, so no se one. ve nada. Yeah, you yeah. can say no veo nada. I don't see anything. But if you say no se ve, no se ve nada. One doesn't see. One can't see anything. Mm, or, or, okay. Yeah, like impersonal. you don't put a person. Okay. Muy bien. Número siete. Diana se peina el pelo con un cepillo especial. Okay, so this one for me is peinar, so it's reflexive. Muy yeah? bien, muy bien. Does it to itself. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. So in this case, again, you can have the uh, direct, indirect object. Se peina, se, se despierta o se peina el pelo. El yeah. pelo. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, so reflexive. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. When you do something to yourself, even if it's your, your hair. Yeah. Eh, ocho. Se lo dije ayer al verlo. Se lo dije ayer al verlo. What is al, al verlo? We've talked about this, haven't we? Really, the, the, the true translation is upon, upon seeing her. Upon seeing, upon her. seeing her. Yeah, so I, that is... Or when, no? uh, she... Um, se lo dije. 
So I told I told uh, him mm-hmm. yesterday when I saw him. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this one is what I would call the la la rule, which is really it's le lo dije. Exactly. But you can't do that. Exactly. It's the, the fake se. Yeah. yeah it's it's a fake. se. It's a le disguised. Yeah. yeah? But it's mm-hmm. really a le. Mm-hmm. Número nueve. Lucía se leyó tu libro en una tarde. Lucía se leyó tu libro en una tarde. So for me, that is the same as the merendar. Correcto. It's this, she, she read the whole book. So uh, Lucía read, all, read the yeah. whole book in an afternoon. She uh-huh. read it all. She devoured it. Exactly. Yeah. Muy bien. Muy bien. So that would be the se dativo ético. Dativo ético. Or how would you call it? I have no idea. <laughs> just the emphasis. emphasis. It's just em- emphatic. Se. An emphatic, emphatic say. It's like, you know that they did that with, you know, and, and they did it all. Vale, las últimas tres, ¿sí? Ajá. Número diez. Aquí se habla español. Ok, so, here, um, Spanish is spoken, that, so, or one speaks Spanish here. Mm-hmm. So, that, that, I suppose in one way it could be the say avoiding the passive voice. Yeah, Spanish is spoken. Right. Or... The avoiding one or using one. It's yeah? the, in this case, is the is the impersonal. Yeah, one speaks Spanish here. Mm-hmm. 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 Muy bien. Número 11. Se vendieron muchas copias del libro. Okay, so many copies of the book were sold. So that's, mm-hmm. that's our passive voice structure. So it's the way that you say to avoid the passive voice. In yeah? this case, yes, because you can't say one sold many copies. No. Yeah? So this case is passive, say. It's not the impersonal, yeah? The impersonal one, you can change it with one or you. Um, but not with the passive. Right. Yeah? Se uh-huh. vendieron muchas copias del libro. Mm-hmm. So many copies were sold by... by there's no who? by. Sometimes there's a by, sometimes there's no by, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Um, y número 12 Los dos se besaron apasionadamente Well, if they're going to kiss yeah. Absolutely, if you're going to do it, do it right yeah, Exactly, <laughs> with passion <laughs> passion So that is the two, the two of them uh, Kissed one another passionately So again, this is the, um, this is the reciprocal The okay. mutual El uno al otro. Correcto. Mutuamente. Muy bien. Muy bien. Mm. Muy bien. So, how did you find this test? Did you like it? Was it helpful? Mm. How do you find it, Gordon? It was good, yeah. And it, 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 what, what I'm aware of is I don't know the 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 actual grammatical names to some, oh, to some of them. Is, but I know what they are. Yeah. And that's the th- that's the thing. I mean, that's why we, we, we say things like la, la, land. It helps mm-hmm. you to understand this yes. le, le sound. Exactly. And we use the victim structure. Exactly. Uh, so you know that it's, this is happening to them because they're the victim, you know. So there are, there are ways that you can learn them. You don't need to know the we names. Have, we haven't done the victim structure, We actually. haven't in this one, um, yeah. No, but uh, for example, give me give me a sentence of the victim structure because we use it a lot in, sp- okay. in Spain, um, in Spanish. Se le fue de la mente. Se me fue de la mente. It slipped my mind. Mm-hmm. Like literally when something, when it's like you're not to blame for that happening. Yeah. It I had nothing the, to do with this. I, it just happened yeah. to me. The, the great system about the the la, la, um, the, the victim structure is this. The, in terms of the way that it's written, the verb that goes around the pronoun, le or me or whatever it is, the verb that goes around is the action that's happening around the person. And the le or the me or whatever is the person. So you can actually see it as a picture that you just know what's happening by the action that's happening around is the verb and then the person's stuck in the middle. They're just the victim. Yeah. That's what yeah. the victim structure is. Or, for example, se me olvidó. Se me olvidó. In English, you would say, I, for- I forgot. Yeah. But we say, it forgot. Itself it went from yeah. me. <laughs> it forgot I didn't itself do from it. Me. It just, you know, yeah. and that's the victim structure. Yeah. It's in the book, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Everything is in our book. So now. And now, a word from our sponsors. 
Muchas gracias, Peter. Con, con, con mucha... Como, mucha energía. Mucha eh. energía, mucha fuerza. Sí, sí. Peter sí. tiene mucha fuerza. <laughs> so, look, I know we just talked about this recently, but it's worthwhile mentioning again. The pronouns that we've just done, and all of the pronouns, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not all, who knows, but uh, there are so many. <laughs> Can't keep track of them. Can't keep track of the little buggers. They're everywhere. But we put in this book <laughs> virtually like all the pronouns that you need to understand and with explanations. The way that we, we make our books is to try and make them as easy as possible to understand. We don't load them up with grammatical terms and everything. We just help you to understand how to use them, that's all. Okay, so that book's available on Amazon and on other outlets as well, which I have no idea what they are, but on Amazon, yeah. But <laughs> the they black, are available. The Amazon keep telling me they're all available on all other outlets. So you can get that. Entonces, chicos, muchísimas gracias. Uh, please give us some more suggestions, yeah, when you can. Send them in, just send them in by email if you can, or put them onto the um, the YouTube comments. And then you'll have to send my email because I then I just go, please, can you send, send an it email? By email. <laughs> the emails are in the in the information on the video. You get all the email information. Just send it an email to me, and we'll add it, and we'll do it, and we'll mention your name, and you'll you'll be famous within the boundaries, limited <laughs> boundaries of light speed Spanish within the very limited boundaries, <laughs> fifty thousand subscriber boundaries. <laughs> Bueno, entonces, Cintia, muchas gracias por el test. Gracias a ti. Eh, 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 eh. Y ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós.